and welcome. As usual, I shall grab the sacred pipe, I guess. See, this is the sacred pipe, I guess. See, I blow to this thing every fucking day. And it's stoned off my ass and pretend I'm a cult leader. Watch. We vape pure happiness. And apparently it's my function, so I can't breathe into a lot of everyone will leave the show, so I can't do that. This is mukbang, okay? I eat shit, I say shit, you know, the end. Nothing more, nothing less, you know? See look, here's a ball of green curry. It looks delicious, I know. Oh I, I spilled some, I think, I don't know. I thought I saw something go drip, drip, drip off the side of the lid there, but I may have been dreaming. So. The cold. The cold. As usual, as the saying goes, we are free. We are one. We are sometimes all, but not really all, but sometimes. Peanut butter is delicious. Love makes us happy. Hate makes us crazy. Because we can't handle all the hate in our lives. Because by the time we're 20, 26 years old sometimes the people say the worst thing in the world and they mean it sometimes but don't and they don't say it that way and it starts stupid shit like wars and other shit because they don't agree with each other's bullshit so sometimes you just have to deal with their bullshit as you can't not not help it See, sometimes you can, but not always. Because some people just aren't meant to be. Like some parents or families that are slightly insane or crazy, but they don't give a shit about Jay-Z. See, I'm crazy for peanut butter and G. That'd be a jam. Peanut butter, baby. I'm waiting for my food to cook. Waiting for my food to cook. Uh, oh, what's it? Uh, yep, my food is ready. So we shall be free when I come back downstairs. My teeth hurt.
I have gotten the sailing, sacred sailing curry from my... Oh shit, I almost broke my chair. So, it's time. Stupid ball bearing. Time to be free and love all. Oh shit. I forgot my utensils. Shit. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally brought two spoons down, but went back up and put it back upstairs. So, fork and spoon. Great for curry. See, I used an ice cream spoon to eat the soup with, which is exactly hilarious. I'm a bit winded right now, so watch me eat. So, it was. was but of a lonely and shitty day. It rained and rained and rained all day. It made my mom sad as it rained on her birthday. But some friends came over and that made her happy. But it's not the same when your day is a rainy day on your birthday. This doesn't bring us anything nice to say about the day. Just shitty day, nice knowing you, it was fun. What a, what a bad day it was, it was a disturbingly boring day. You know, first time it rained in all her life on her birthday ever. See, I wanted to also go to be in Montreal to go shoot a uh, Lamb of God, but that didn't happen. Mm -mm. Didn't happen one bit. Mmm. Mmm, salt and pepper just adds so much. Like, look. Look at that shit. So it's got beef. Beef, man. Beef. Fucking, you know, fucking sticky rice, man. Look at that fucking sticky rice. It's delicious. Look. Mmm. 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 A little bit more salt and pepper adds a lot of taste. So good. It's like eating spicy happiness with pepper. Oh, yeah. Remember to breathe. Remember to talk. And be free. And love all your friends as you'll never have them again sometimes. This year, this year has been shitty. Well, no, not shitty. Okay. 2016 was like, wait, why is it that when a celebrity dies, everyone just loses their mind? It's like, guess who died today? We're all mourning and sad about it, but when we die, we're not much in the history books. We're just forgotten like an old toy. But, but when your favorite director dies, our semi-favorite, but not your favorite favorite director dies, George Romero, that really causes a big, big sickness. Cause that guy was such an icon, man. He made like zombies cool. He made everything look cool. 
It was through him, but his issue was his scenes went on to nowhere sometimes. But he was a great director. Sometimes. My favorite being Creep Show, um Monkey Shines. Mm. Dawn of the Dead. Great movie. I also loved um, some of the dark half. This isn't bad. He disappeared for a while, which is weird. Shame he died. Because I want, I had a chance to meet him. I just felt I didn't really want to pay. that much money to a polite man that super tired from all the chemo. I regret it now. I would have liked to have talked to him. But, you know, I couldn't. It's the first time I saw him too. I went just for him. I didn't even get his autograph. I spent it on Robin Lord Taylor. I know that's rude, but I said hi twice, so I guess it would be nice to buy an autograph or like some sort of selfie from him. And the saddest thing is, that was lost to my money when I counted it. Wait, as soon as I was done and counted it, I was like, oh, damn. But I was already in line, you know? That made me sad. It was such a Unique person. Look at Martin. It is so good. Look at that. In my mouth, or not. 